Hello everyone. Now let's talk about sessions. So what are sessions? So sessions are server side storage information which is present till a user is interacting with that web application or with that server. Now how that information is stored on that server? What kind of information it is? So the information which is stored on a server till the user is interacting with that web application is in the form of session IDs. So what are session IDs? A session ID is a long random alphanumeric string which uniquely identifies users on that website. Means every single user contains different different session IDs and how that session IDs are derived are depend upon the web application logic. So sometimes what happen is the session IDs are also stored inside cookies. So the important characteristics of every good session ID should be it should be random. The second one is it should be long and it should be alphanumeric. Now what are the difference between session ID and cookies? So cookie is stored on a client side through browser and the sessions are stored on server sites. So in cookie we can see the data which is in inside the cookie in the form of name and value pairs whereas in session IDs we can't see our data so that the session IDs are secure whereas the cookies are not secure and it can be stolen by using JavaScript. Now let's see how we can use Bob Suite in order to find the session IDs. Now let's do some session ID analysis. So in order to see how session ID looks like what we have to do is we first have to set up our Bob Suite and here you can see that right now I am inside my Kali Linux instance. Let me configure my Bob Suite so that we can intercept the request because most of the times the session ID is present in our HTTP request. But some of the application may store session IDs in the form of cookies in our browser. So here is my Bob Suite. And let me also open my Firefox. Okay. And we know that the Bob Suite runs on this IP, localhost IP, and the port is 8080. And let me configure my Firefox browser proxy settings by going, going here, preference, advanced, <coughs> network, and network settings. So manual proxy configuration. So this is the Bob Suite proxy IP and here's the port number let me click on ok and here let's open tutorialspoint.com okay th so the first one request is a simple http request it's not an https so let me forward this okay let's go here tutor connect advanced let's accept this exception and now you can see that our Bob Suite will intercept HTTPS request of tutorialspoint.com here you can see now the request is HTTPS request and here you can see the cookie some different kind of cookies okay let me forward this okay and if you read this request here is an additional information called as PHP session ID so by just looking at this at a first glance we can say that this is a session ID because here is written this PHP session ID so this is how the session ID looks like a long random string and alphanumeric string so in the most of the web application if I talk about Google Facebook if you intercept their request you will found a hell of a detail a lot of details containing these kind of IDs, different different IDs. So then that time it will be very very difficult to distinguish that what are what are the session IDs and what are the different another IDs. But here at the first glance we can say that this is session ID because most of the times the what developer do so what they do is they actually change this parameter name to any different name. So just for example if there is written 
UTMC and in other if, if there is written XYZ instead of PHP session ID then you can just think of that how difficult it is to analyze that what are session IDs among these all of them. So finding a right PHP session ID or any different any other session ID is also a very tricky task. So in this video we have covered that what is session ID, how session ID looks like, characteristics of a good session ID. And thanks for watching this video.